I don't have any shame saying that I'm on a medication right now at all because I don't try to be depressed. I'm not like, oh, I want to wake up this morning and I want to feel like crap and not be able to do anything or want to do anything with my kids and just feel like a piece of crap. Hey guys, what's up? I'm sitting down. I've got coffee, I have my lights out, and we're actually doing a sit down video today. Praise the Lord. Get yourself something to drink because I don't know how long this is going to be. I feel like it's been a long time since I've sat down and I've done an actual legit video here on my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Jamie. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss future videos from me and you and I can get to know each other a little bit better. All right guys, so I feel like this topic has been very relevant in the YouTube community and I'm, I'm glad, I'm so glad that it's very relevant because it's something that I feel like really needs to be talked about and people need to be aware of it and that is postpartum depression. I mentioned in some of my videos kind of sporadically that I dealt with some postpartum depression after having Jude and my babies are all back to back. If you're new to my channel, I have three kids. Oh, this fly, this fly is like, I was trying to film for Millennial Moms and this fly was flying around like crazy and I had to get a fly swatter, but I don't know where my fly swatter is at. I have three kids, one and almost three and four. And so they're all really close together in age and it was like a whirlwind. I'm looking back now at having them and being pregnant with them and I just feel like it just, it was a whirlwind looking back at it. It went by so fast, but in the process of it, it went by so slow. And some of the days were just, they just didn't end. They were long, long days. I don't think I ever really gathered my thoughts or my mental stability between kids. And so I just got pregnant again and then just, you know, dealt with life then with another baby on the way and just, you know, you're just kind of in survival mode. I feel like sometimes it can just catch up with you and that's what happened to me. I really feel like after I had Jude, we had so many changes. Uh, we moved when he was three weeks old into a new house and it just, it was a big, big thing. And so with three little ones, a new baby, a new house, um, my husband was working two jobs and going to school, he's in seminary. And I look back and I was like trying to make sure that my carpets were clean and that we were doing activities through the day. I just, I was crazy, you guys. Like I was, look, I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh, you had a three week old baby, you moved. You had a three-year-old daughter and a two-year-old son. Not even three, she was like almost three. That's crazy. Like that is nutso, lady. How did you even function? Like how did you even like, I don't even know, live? And so looking back, it's easy for me to see that, but when I was in the middle of it, um, I don't think I ever gave myself the credit that I really feel like I needed to give myself the credit and the grace and just the understanding that things were getting real cray. I feel like it did catch up with me and at about six months postpartum with Jude, I really felt like I was starting to crash a little bit. Now I didn't share very openly on my channel because that this was something that I was like openly struggling with simply because, um, gosh, my heart was so, I was vulnerable, you know, and I've never pretended to be something that I'm not on my channel. I've always been like, hey, I'm not a perfect mom. My kids don't listen to me all the time. I'm just trying, you know, my very best that I can, but I never openly wanted to sit down and say, I'm struggling with postpartum depression simply because I didn't feel like it was something that I really felt comfortable sitting down and discussing with thousands of people. Do you guys feel me? thumbs up if you can understand that. So I had my support system and I had my um, husband and just my close friends and a lot of my close YouTube friends knew that I was going through this but it's just a journey I feel like that a lot of women go through and that we don't know. I know a lot of my friends on YouTube have openly talked about it. Michelle Pearson's talked about going through postpartum and she was one of my rocks. Um, her and I could text each other and talk about like just struggling sometimes and it's so good to have that. So so good to have that support and I just keep hearing more and more people openly talking about it and it's kind of encouraged me and pushed me to really speak out as well and say yeah I'm struggling with it or I've struggled with it currently 
I am on an antidepressant. Jude is over a year, and when he was six months, I did go on an antidepressant, and then I ended up going off of it because of the way that it made me feel. And then a few months ago, I ended up getting put back on something else because I just was really struggling. I feel like after having my kids, my serotonin levels have never gone back to where they were before I had kids and so being on something now has really really helped me to feel normal again like I remember a week after I started taking the medication I was downstairs and I was dancing with my kids and playing and you guys ever like work out or dance and you're like oh my gosh this feels so great and you forget how good it feels to just move and laugh and I just felt joy that I hadn't felt in so, so long. And so I'm so glad that I'm on something right now that I feel normal, that I can cope, you know? I don't have any shame saying that I'm on a medication right now at all because I don't try to be depressed. I'm not like, oh, I wanna wake up this morning and I wanna feel like crap and not be able to do anything or want to do anything with my kids and just feel like a piece of crap. No, I, I don't intend to do that. That's not my intention. My intention is to be the best person and mom and wife that I can be. But my mental health just, it's been really hard for me since having Jude. And I'm okay with accepting that and admitting that and doing what I need to do to be the best mom that I can be. Not pretending that I've got my stuff all together. And if you're someone that's never struggled with depression or postpartum depression, then praise God, that is amazing. That is so, so good and that is such a blessing that you've never had that. Um, and if you are someone that has struggled with it, then you know it's so much more than just having the want to do something, you know? I am doing really well now and I'm, like I said, I'm on medication now and I feel like myself again. I'm staying on top of things around my house. I'm enjoying moments with my kids. I have motivation. I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight. I just, I feel good. And you know, it's about time. It's about time. And I'm just starting to accept that it is important for me to feel good. Like not saying that I should be top priority over everyone in my family, but that it is important as a woman and as a person, not just a mom or a wife, but you as a woman, for you to feel good, for you to wake up in the morning and say, I feel good today. I feel like taking care of the day. And some days there will be days where you don't feel good, you don't feel like it, you're just kinda like Meh. And that's life, you know, right? It rains sometimes, it's sunny sometimes. That's just life. But it's important to feel good. It's important to take care of yourself. It's important to exercise. It shouldn't be a luxury to be able to go for a walk or be able to get your endorphins in your body going because you feel good and because you're active. You know, that's something that's important to do for yourself. So that's something that I am just really trying to embrace and let go of the guilt, let go of the dishes, let go of the things that are just built up in my head from the things I see on social media or the things that even I tell myself that maybe nobody else even said to me but I've just created on my own shoulders. I'm just, I'm letting go of it. So I hope that this is an encouragement to you guys to just embrace where you're at and if you need help, ask for it. If you need help, go get it. Um, if you need to see someone, go see someone. Sometimes maybe we just need to just talk to someone. I know for me, sometimes I'm at home with kids all day long and then my husband comes home and I'm like, an adult, let's communicate. Sometimes you need some adult <laughs> interaction in your life, you know? Thumbs up if you feel me. So I hope that um, this encouraged you or even if you didn't need the encouragement, if there's someone in your life that you know is struggling, if you wanna share this with them or um, even if you just wanna comment down below and chat with me. I hope that you guys are all well, that you're all blessed, and that you know you're not alone and you're loved, and um, there's someone that's praying for you. I pray for you guys as subscribers every day. Um, I might not know you individually, but I cover you guys in prayer. Thank you guys so much for just allowing me to share my journey with you, for me to be able to share with you guys where I'm at right now, and that I am perfectly imperfect and I'm on this journey and I'm with you guys on your journey and I love you. This is like the longest outro ever on my video but you know this is just what you get when you come on over here to my channel. I love you guys. I'm so blessed to know you and I hope that you guys have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys later. Bye. I've gotten pregnant on hormonal birth control. I know people that have gotten pregnant 
you know, after they've gotten a vasectomy or their tubes tied or whatever. So, I mean, babies can always happen. 